Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So last night I had all the intentions in the world to watch a horror comedy. I picked out the voices because I've wanted to see this film for a while and I knew it was a movie kind of about talking animals. Some kind of murder event happens and it stars Ryan Reynolds. And silly me thought that a movie that had Ryan Reynolds in it and talking animals would probably be a comedy. Uh, I was so wrong and I don't know if you guys have seen this movie but it's pretty intense. As I always say, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, with what I want to say about this film, I will be giving away a little bit more than I usually do. Um, nothing that you won't figure out in the first five to ten minutes, uh, but I think it is very important and I think it's a great thing that we can discuss. So pretty much this movie is about Ryan Reynolds who hears voices and it's like him adjusting to normal society. You find out a lot about his backstory, but what is clear is that he has a mental illness, maybe like schizophrenia or something like that, where he hallucinates and he kind of lives in his own reality and that's why he hears voices. Uh, so when you see the trailer, I feel like it is like misguided. <laughs> They're all like talking animals and it has his cat who's Mr. Whiskers who speaks in an Irish accent and he's really rude and crude and I don't know, I just didn't think it was going to head down that way because upon the opening of the movie you're already hearing the voices which I don't know why, I just assumed that maybe he fell down and hit his head or something happened, you know, like in other movies when people start hearing animals speak. Uh, it was kind of like a shock, but it was also very interesting and it was a different perspective definitely um, for a movie like this that really gave it a different vibe and a different feeling. Mainly because, I mean, mental illness is a very serious thing and we don't talk about it as much as we should, obviously. And for this movie, it's really interesting to see his world and how he kind of perceives things. It kind of reminds me a bit of Dancer in the Dark, if you've ever seen the Bjork film, uh, where she kind of just escapes her own reality when something bad happens but he's always escaping. And obviously this opens the conversation for a lot of really heavy topics. Um, one being medication. Uh, he's not taking his medication throughout the movie and this is why he sees things that should be more gritty and gross and very, really heavy subjects as you know, light and bright and the cinematography is really like pretty and clear and clean and lots of yellows and blues and reds um, and that's not what reality is and you see this because you see it through other people's eyes or you, there's some parts in there where you can actually see how things really are and instead of it being like a funny, you know, slapstick comedy with Ryan Reynolds and a talking animal, it's really sad and um, I don't know, I found it really it really affected me, I think. Uh, it's really sad to see that that's how he perceived things and you, it makes you wonder or think, of course he doesn't want to live in reality if his reality uh, is like that. Yeah, it's very thought-provoking and really interesting and totally not what I expected at all. Uh, I will say it's definitely worth a watch though. It's really interesting. Uh, it just was really heavy and I wasn't expecting it to be like that. It was also really interesting to see Ryan Reynolds in this character because I normally see him as like the funny type um, in like the comedies he's been in or like the strong type like in Anime Newville Horror or Buried. In this movie he was, uh, I, it's not like he was a weak character but he was very shy and very held back and it was obviously because he had a lot of things going on. Um, he also has this big backstory that comes out that's, yeah, it's pretty intense. So it was really interesting to see him like that. It kind of reminded me of Elijah Wood in the remake of Mania. Also in this movie was Anna Kendrick, so it was interesting to see her also, who's normally in comedies, in something a little bit different. I think she did really well, and there was one scene in particular I think she did extremely well, and I felt her emotions at the time. I don't want to give too much away again, uh, but if you see it, you know what I mean. The actual storyline in the movie is a little bit strange, and I think it's because the idea of the film that he has this reality that he is living and it's not real uh, it really plays into the whole plot that's kind of like the blanket of the movie and under that is actually the storyline which is interesting but also it's I don't know like you just I don't know which whose side I was really on it's really strange it's not like one of those movies where you want someone to escape or you want someone to kill the bad guy you just really watch this thing unfold and it's so intense and I probably would give it a perfect score if I felt like the storyline was more coming through more than just the overlying meaning but then I kind of feel like the meaning is more important than the storyline and I think that's probably where I got a little bit confused in it. It's a bit hazy in between. It's like, I don't know, I get, maybe I just got my head too much into thinking about how he perceives things and how sad it was and, and how lonely he must have been that it kind of 
took me away from the storyline. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. But the whole movie is really intense and I really, really recommend it to you guys. I'm going to give this one a personal score of 7.5. A scare score, it's not really that scary. It, there is a part where it freaked me out, but obviously you're seeing this through his eyes, which he doesn't mean anything he does. <laughs> in a bad way and maybe that's the scary part psychologically it's really scary so i'd probably just give it like a f three maybe a three in scare and originality i'm gonna have to give it a nine because it's really original and i really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed that review let me know down in the comments below if you've seen a movie that kind of sounds like this i'd love to check it out and i'll see you guys later stay spooky bye